Hello, and welcome to another Heroes of New Earth Hero Spotlight, featuring Riptide, Lord of the Abyss. Riptide has emerged from the primordial deep of the inner sea, and he carries with him the enormous power of the cold black tides that once covered New Earth. If Riptide gets his way, we'll all be swimming in Lake Caldebar. Riptide is a strength melee hero that excels at chasing and locking down opponents. With the ability to manipulate the weather, Riptide ensures that all battles are fought on his turn. Riptide's first ability, Watery Grave, blasts a single target with water, dealing magic damage and silencing them. If the enemy is on water, they take additional damage and get silenced for a second longer. Undertow, Riptide's second ability, launches a massive tidal wave at the target location, dealing magic damage to enemies and leaving behind puddles that synergize with the rest of Riptide's abilities. Riptide's passive ability, In My Element, grants attack speed, movement speed, and attack damage, as long as Riptide remains in water. The ability also grants Riptide invisibility as long as he stays on water and no enemy heroes are within 450 range. In My Element is active while Riptide is in the river, so he should be laned mid whenever possible. Riptide's ultimate ability, Perfect Storm, covers the entire map in water, allowing Riptide to receive the full benefits of all of his abilities. All of the puddles created by Undertow now become deep puddles, and any enemies inside them are slowed. Riptide specializes in locking down single targets, and his items should reflect that. Riptide should start with the standard melee mid-items, which are Hatchet, Iron Buckler, and Blightstone. Once you have 600 gold, you should immediately pick up a bottle and take advantage of his passive for rune control. In the laning phase, I pick up Ghost Marchers and Insanitarius. My core items are Elder Parasite, Brutalizer, and Shrunken Head. My late game luxury items are Dawnbringer, Symbol of Rage, Daemonic Breastplate, and Jinjuro. When playing Riptide mid, I save my skill point until I am in the lane and I can analyze my opponents. If I sense an early gank or see a potential kill opportunity, I will get Watery Grave, but otherwise I will get my passive to help me last hit and control the lane. If I am playing in a dual lane with the potential to get kills, I will always max my Q first. If I am filling more of a carry role and need to farm, I will always max my E first. Both builds only require one point in Undertow, which will be used primarily to get the additional damage and silence from Watery Grave. Although Riptide is most effective in the middle lane, proper use of his abilities can make him deadly anywhere. In this example, Glacius catches the Suicide Hag, allowing Riptide to hit him with an Undertow, making his Watery Grave more effective. The increased silence eliminated any opportunity for escape and allowed Riptide to pick up an easy kill. After a skirmish in the enemy jungle, my teammates run away and head towards the river. With my increased movement speed in the river, I am able to cut the enemy off and quickly silence and eliminate the enemy blitz. Master of Arms gets locked down and killed quickly, while the rest of my teammates chase down the drunken master, finish him off, and give us a 3-0 exchange. When playing Riptide in the mid lane, always look for opportunities to capitalize on overextending enemies. In My Element grants a significant move speed bonus, and it's very easy to gank the side lanes before the enemy can react. I catch bubbles overextending in the top lane and activate my ultimate to gain the full silence duration and damage increase on Watery Grave. With no chance of escape, Bushwhack picks up the kill and gains control of the lane. Seeing the enemy team starting to push, I head bottom, picking up an invis rune on the way. Catching an opportunity to hit three enemies with Undertow, I initiate on the Pyromancer, silencing him and taking him out before the fight even begins. After a great ice imprisonment from Glacius to cancel the elemental void, we quickly kill the Tempest while the enemy Benzington takes out Devour and Fade with an amazing ultimate. I kill Benzington with my Watery Grave and eventually chase down and kill Soulstealer to get the quad kill. Thank you for watching another Heroes of New Earth Hero Spotlight featuring Riptide, Lord of the Abyss. Riptide crashes into the shores of New Earth on April 9th along with Toxin, the debut avatar, and Waterfest, the premium avatar.